hello guys welcome back so today is a very special day because it is the day that I turn 26 years old 26 I know it's crazy I feel old but also I know that I'm still very young um, I have an exciting little day plan today even though I'm working today I have an appointment today to get my lips done for the very first time and I'm very very excited because I've wanted to get my lips done since I was about 20 years old I want to say um, I've looked into it a lot over the past few years and I finally decided that I was in a good place to do it um, and what better day than my birthday to get my lips done so I am not gonna bring you guys in there because I don't think that I'm allowed to film in there but I'm going to show you guys a little before and then I'm gonna come back to you guys this evening after I have them done. Uh, I'm pretty prone to swelling and bruising so I'm assuming that they're just gonna like blow up like balloons and look crazy but I'm super excited to be doing this and I just wanted to take you guys along on a little journey. Um, I'm gonna show you the progression so I'll show you right after I get them done then I'll show you tomorrow morning and then maybe three days and then a week from the day I get them. I will come back to you guys later on tonight with some bigger lips. This is the before. So my lips are fairly average, I would say. I just want some more fullness in my bottom lip. And then when I smile, my top lip kind of like disappears. So um, I just want some more fullness in the bottom lip. And then I still want to keep my shape. I like the shape of my lips. So yeah, I'm just gonna get them to... I'm gonna see what she says, because she's the professional, so... I will see what she wants to do, what she thinks will look right on my face. But yeah, I'm super excited, so I will see you guys with some puffier lips later on tonight. And wish me luck. I wanted to give you guys a little update on what they look like right now. So, I'll give you a little close up. So, she injected my top lip, because that was my main concern was... Uh, my top lip was a lot thinner than my bottom lip, like I said to you guys earlier. Um, so she did the majority in my top lip and a little bit in the bottom. I had just under half a syringe done. There is a little bit more left in the syringe that she's going to do um, use on me for a touch up. But I also had a little spot right here, um, like that little line there. and. It always drove me nuts because my makeup would crease in there, but she put a tiny bit of filler in there and I hope that it will go away, but already I can notice a huge difference. Okay, so I'm going to come in a little bit closer to show you guys what my lips look like. So they look so good. Um, like I said, they're a little swollen right now, so we'll see what they settle down to. I'll probably end up getting more done, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. This is like an hour after I've had them done, so... I'm still a little bit numb, so I might be talking a little bit funny, but I will um, update you guys tomorrow and I'll give you the rundown on cost, the experience, what I actually all had done, and yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So today, I am just on my way to go get my nails done, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, I've been up for about two hours, but I forgot to come on here and show you guys my lips this morning. To be honest, I was expecting the worst. Like I was kind of expecting to have like balloon lips because um, usually I do, I am prone to swelling and bruising. Um, so actually I am so happy with the way they are this morning. Um, I honestly don't think they've swollen at all from last night. So I'll kind of show you up close. They're just so much more even now and so beautiful. I'm so happy. Um, I did get, I had a tiny little line right here that always like my makeup creases into. So she put a little bit of filler in that too. But I just wanted to show you guys quickly what they looked like in the morning. I'm about to head out to my nail appointment. I would bring you guys with me, but it is like minus 40 right now. So it's so cold and I don't want my camera to freeze while it's in my bag. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys when I get home and then give you the details. And then I'm going to probably upload this video next week. So, yeah, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so it is much later in the day. Uh, it's around 3 o'clock right now, I think. Um, I just wanted to sit down and give you guys like a little overview. I know I already told you a few things about the procedure I had done. First of all, I just want to say make sure that you do your research. Um, always look into the places that you're going to get your filler done. Um, 
I think that's very important that you go somewhere that's reputable, somewhere that you know they've done great work, um, somebody with experience. Just, it's really important because it is on your face and yeah, it's not permanent, but it does last quite a long time, especially if you hate it. Uh, you can have it dissolved, but I, I've heard that's really painful, so yeah, just do your research. Um, as far as my experience, I had an amazing experience. Uh, I went to a place here in my town called LA Medical Aesthetics, and the girl there, her name is Lauren, and she's an absolute sweetheart. Um, she made me feel so comfortable. This was my first time getting any kind of fillers, injections, anything like that. I've never had any cosmetic work done like that. So, um, and I'm very high anxiety. I, I stress about everything. I'm like always up here. So the fact that she was able to just kind of calm me down about it. She gave me all the information that I needed. I felt super comfortable and relaxed. So it was a great experience. Um, I told her what my concerns were, which were my top lip, because my top lip was so much thinner than my bottom lip, and it was a little asymmetrical, like it wasn't um, even, one side was a little bit smaller than the other, and she confirmed my fear, or not my fear, but I was always seeing that, that the one side was a little bit lower, and she did have to end up putting a little bit more filler in that side, because it was a little bit smaller, like I had... So what I had done was I got half a syringe injected into my top and bottom lip total. Um, she didn't use the entire syringe. I actually had, most of it I think was put in my top lip, wait, er, yeah. Most of it was put into my top lip and then I just had a little bit put into my bottom lip just to even them out, but my bottom lip is quite a bit fuller than my top lip naturally. And then we put a tiny bit in, um, you can't see it, like right here on this side, I have a spot that just indents and it drives me nuts if I'm wearing makeup it creases in there and I'm always having to touch it up and I'm not one that likes to touch up my makeup often so it does drive me insane I can already notice a difference uh, she said it might soften it but wouldn't make it go away completely but I'm very happy with the results I will definitely go back I would like to get probably another once these settle they do look extremely natural but still, there's a huge difference. I will insert a picture of my before and after. It's not the greatest quality picture, but it's what I had. So you can definitely see that the before and after, it made a huge difference. They still look very natural, but they just look better. They fit my face better. They're more even, and I'm so happy with the results. Uh, the pain level, I would say, was like a two. There were certain spots that I couldn't feel anything at all and then there were a couple of spots that were a little more sensitive even though I did have numbing. Uh, there was some spots that were a little sore so just be aware that even if you do have numbing it doesn't mean that you won't feel anything at all. But overall it was a super comfortable procedure. I would absolutely do it again. Um, I probably will do it again. Maybe another half a syringe because I'm in love with the shape but once I see the way that they settle I might want them to be a little bit more full. So yeah, that's that, and oh, the only other thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I know that everywhere is probably different, but just for reference, where I went for half a syringe, it was $300 plus tax, and a full syringe is $550 plus tax. So I don't think that's a bad price at all, like I said, especially because the experience was so amazing. Um, her little shop is so cute and very clean, like everything is just great, it was perfect. Um, so it was well worth the money, I would absolutely do it again. And I still have a tiny bit left, so she did have enough left in the syringe for touch-ups. She is saving that for me, so that once they do settle we can see what they look like, and if I need any touch-ups then she can inject the rest of the syringe. And that's about it. So as you can tell, there. Beautiful, I absolutely love them. I had, I'll show you guys the bruising. I just have a tiny bit inside, so I have a couple darker spots on my bottom lip, but the worst of it is right there on that side. Sorry, again, not really a flattering angle, but just to show you guys the bruising I did have. And I was actually shocked because I'm prone to bruising, I'm prone to swelling. I had next to no swelling at all, and very little bruising, and it doesn't really affect 
the way I look because it is on the inside of my mouth. Overall, it was an absolutely amazing experience. I will be doing it again. I am so thankful that I was able to find somebody that was so highly recommended and did such a great job at making me feel comfortable, making sure that I was educated on what I was getting and I didn't feel pushed into anything at all. She listened to my concerns and then she gave me her advice and it was perfect. It was a great experience. I highly recommend her. Again, it was LA Medical Aesthetics and it's in Dryden, Ontario. So if you guys are anywhere close to us, even if you're in Winnipeg or Thunder Bay, I would definitely make the drive. Um, yeah, it was a phenomenal experience and I highly recommend that you hit her up if you're even if you're in my town or near. I would definitely go. I will link Lauren's information in the description. Um, I'm not sure if she has an Instagram page, but whatever information I can, I will put in the bottom bar. If I missed anything, I'm sorry. Just leave all your questions in the comments and I will answer them. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.